Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm back in the lead code grind, so let's get to it. In this video, I'll show you how to solve question 143, reorder a linked list using a two-pointer method. But the way I solve it here is a little different than the fast and slow two-pointer method that you may have seen in some other tutorials about this problem. I think this way is a little less error prone during an interview when you're under pressure, but maybe that's just my opinion. Anyways, let's dive in. Let's start out with example one for the problem. We're given the linked list with values 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we want to rearrange the values so that our linked list is 1, 4, 2, 3. The array representation of the linked list will look something like this. I've just used a table here so it looks neater. So the top contains the actual nodes, and the bottom row uh, shows the just the indices of the array. Uh, just keep in mind that the actual linked list is still connected. The nodes have just been added one by one onto an array that's the same length as the linked list. On this picture of the given linked list, uh, I'm just going to draw out what we're supposed to get after all the pointers have been reordered. So we're supposed to get one, four, two, three, and then three points to none. All right, so that's what we're supposed to get. So uh, with that in mind, let's go back to the array. To perform the reordering, we can use a two-pointer method, since the array allows us to keep track of how many nodes from the beginning and end the two pointers are, respectively. Let's call the pointer from the first node, A, and the pointer from the last node, B. And what we're trying to do is bring the two pointers closer to each other while reordering the next pointers of the nodes. To increment A and decrement B, we can use a for loop that only needs to iterate up to the middle index of the array. But the middle of the array is calculated differently based on whether the array contains an even or odd number of nodes, uh, as you'll see later. Uh, we can get this limit by doing the integer division of the length of the array by 2 for the even case. I'm just going to write len for short. All right, so we have 4 by 2, and that's 2. We're supposed to stop at 1. But this 2 is all right, because if we're using a for loop, uh, this 2 will be the exclusive limit. I'm just, I'm just going to call it exclusive lim for short, which means our inclusive limit is 1. So we're good here. So the for loop that we have is for i in range. So first we assign the pointers, right? I'm just going to call this array R, A-R-R, -R for short. And then B is array All right, so that's B. And the next, we reorder the pointers of the nodes. We can point B.next to a dot next. And then we can set a dot next to, to b. If we reassign a dot next to point to b first, we want to be able to point b dot next to a dot next because a dot next has been disconnected from 2. So that was the case for i equals 0. But what about our last iteration where i equals 1? So I'm going to just make this smaller a little bit so we have more space. So the case where i equals 1. We still have a and then b, just like before. But 
does this does a dot next equals a b dot next equals a dot next still work and does a dot next set to b still work let's try it so now we're not here anymore we are a b so b dot next equals a dot next and then a dot next is b which is already in place here so right off the bat you can see there's a problem this is a cyclical loop here we need to add some additional logic to be able to break out of this loop so let's see what we can do since a is uh, a is already next to b and we are already at our stopping index all we need to do here is move this down a little bit check if then minus one all right if i is equals equals to one which it is and if a dot next is already equal to b now, if that's the case, what we need to do here is to just set b dot next to none. And then break. Otherwise, you have the same logic as here. And so this, this is your new logic here. But it's important to note, this is for the even case. But the odd case, you'll, as you'll see, is very similar. So for the odd case, what we're supposed to see is, right? And then we can use the same way. A, B. So I equals zero. I equals one. So now I have a, B, same thing. And then A dot next is B. So now what about I equals two, All right? This is actually where we want to end. And at this point, a and B are actually both pointed to the same number. So for the odd case, your limit is actually the length of the uh, length of the array integer divided by two plus one. 5 divided by 2, that's 2, then plus 1, that's 3. Remember what we did here, and then go back up here for our even case. We can see that what we do inside the if statements are the same. The only difference is these two. So our overall logic is for i
Okay, so this is the combined logic of both the even case odd case. So now that we have the combined logic, I think we have enough information to start coding. So now we kind of understand the idea behind the reordering operations, we can start coding. First, I'm just going to put all the nodes in an array. So I'm going to call it R. And then set a pointer N to point to head. All right. And then we increment the pointer after appending. And then that'll put everything on the list. So next is to calculate the exclusive limit like we calculated back on the drawing board. And that remember that's dependent on the array having an even or odd number of elements. So this is the even case. Else, we have the odd case. So then we have the for loop. And these are the, the two conditions for uh, even and odd. Well, I think it's odd and even. Uh, B dot next equals none break. Right. Otherwise, we fall through to reordering the the point the next pointers of the nodes. And then just return head because we've just modified the whole uh, list in place. So both of our preliminary test cases pass. Let's submit. OK, so that's accepted. The time complexity of this is determined by the number of nodes in the list. So if you look at here in this while loop, we're going through all the nodes once. So that's O of n, where n is the number of items in the list. In this for loop, I'll just write this down. So in this for loop, we're going up to O of n or two, about or plus one, but that's really insignificant. So and that's that's still O of n. And uh, the space complexity here is O of n because we're using an auxiliary array to keep track of the pointers. So that's it for this question. I hope you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one.